This is Dr. Matthew Abdo from the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota, and I'm going to discuss our paper entitled Extended Trochanteric Enteric Osteotomy in Revision Total Hip Arthroplasty, Contemporary Outcomes of 612 Patients. I'd like to thank Dr. Swinkowski and the editorial board for this opportunity. By means of disclosure, I do have an individual product development agreement with Stryker. The remaining disclosures by co-authors are noted in the paper. Extended trochanteric osteotomies are an extremely powerful technique. I utilize my cases to remove well-fixed components or distal cement mantles, to aid in surgical exposures, to correct coronal sagittal malalignment, and to assist with placement of modular fluted tapered stems. In this paper, we describe two flavors of ETOs, laterally based or Poprosky ETOs, and anteriorly based or Wagner ETOs. The technique in my hands utilizes subvastus exposure, and I like that osteotomy fragment be 12 to 16 centimeters in length. I'll then complete the posterior limb of the osteotomy, the transverse limb, and the distal aspect of the anterior limb, and I'll unitize them with a pencil tip burr to minimize stress risers. I'll then utilize multiple wide osteotomes to elevate that osteotomy fragment without fracturing it in the particular scenario. In this series of 612 ETOs completed at the Mayo Clinic, we found that we utilized 365 of them via the laterally based Prosky technique and 245 via the anteriorly based Wagner technique. The study period was from 2003 to 2013, and we had a mean follow up of five years. Indications for the ETOs were most commonly for aseptic loosening of the femoral component, as well as periprosthetic joint infection. Our results were impressive. At most recent follow-up, 98% of osteotomies had united. The mean time to union was six months, and trochanteric migration was approximately three millimeters as a mean. We described notable trochanteric migration as greater than one centimeter, and found that to be rare and only occurring in 7% of patients. The most common complication was fracture of the osteotomy fragment. That occurred at 4% of patients intraoperatively, but only 0.5% postoperatively. We looked at a variety of survivorship outcomes, but I want to highlight one. That is survivorship free of aseptic loosening of the femoral component, which was 97% at 10 years. With direct access to the distal canal and the most commonly utilized stem in this series, modular fluted tapered stems, we believe the ETO facilitated stem placement. In summary, ETOs are an extremely powerful technique in revision total hip arthroplasty. We found that nine unions were rare approximately 2% of the time, and the notable trochanteric migration was also rare. Thank you very much for this opportunity.